I want to uh, do a review on Bitcoin. Um, many of you have heard my attitude on cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, uh, that uh, uh, this is just part of the huge speculative bubble, uh, everything bubble that is going on right now. But at the same time, I still look at it very agnostically. Uh, and when the bottom was very clear after it had made a, a trip down to uh, under 29,000, we were positive and we thought that it would be going up. And now the conditions are such that uh, it looks like it's in a time frame where there could be more downside. So I wanted to review this, get the pricing in there uh, for you to see, support, resistances, momentum conditions, all of those. Uh, as uh, we look at Bitcoin. Uh, and uh, we'll start out by looking at what is really an, uh, a blank canvas for us, because our work is extremely artistic. It is an art form, and we just take the blank canvas and we put all the information on it one little piece at a time. And when we do that, we end up going from a chart that looks like this to a chart that looks like this. Yes, that may look very, very busy to you, but at the same time, there's a ton of important information in here, and I'm going to share that with you. First thing I'll say is that uh, in an update right now uh, that uh, there are over 11,000 cryptocurrencies, including all the altcoins out there. That number grows. There are unlimited supply. There is no scarcity in the cryptocurrency market. You could say there's a limit of 21 million Bitcoin that will not be hit for 100 years. Uh, but uh, it doesn't matter because there's another one that comes and steals the thunder, uh, as you saw happen for a while with Ethereum going up while Bitcoin was lagging. So uh, the uh, information that I'm going to show you right now is purely technical. No matter what my attitudes are, we always look at things agnostically. So let's take a look right in here so you can see these formations so you understand what we're looking at. This is a cycle bracket. This is the way that we see the uh, average periods uh, between important cycle lows. When you get this big dominant cycle, often you have a minor cycle or more. There are many, many cycles that live in here, uh, but you have to go down to different time frames, smaller time frames to see those. And I'm going to show you the daily time frame also. So you have this cycle right in here. This is called the harmonic family, made up of these two minor cycles. And you can see this right over here. That minor cycle comes down. You get a failed rally right over here. And when you have a positive cycle like this one, and then a rally that fails and takes out the low, it's negative. And it tells you that with momentum right over here, and this is the reversal scout, this is a proprietary indicator. I'll show you this on some other charts in a moment. This uh, is uh, tells you the momentum is turning down and that this is an important peak. And it's likely to go down into the nesting period right in here, which is the a range of time either side of the ideal low. So you could see it declined perfectly into that time frame. Then you had the next minor cycle right in here that bottomed positively configured the low way above where this low was in the support beautifully. And we had looked for a further decline to 38.5. But then on, on October 1st, we said it was revised. No longer were we looking for that. And then we were in the next rising phase. And you see that got you up to a new high, around 69,000, uh, which is uh, a couple thousand, 3,000 above where it had gotten over here. And momentum in here, you could see, is still positive. This yellow area right over here is where the period of risk comes in, just as it did right over here and right over here, that previous one. So we expected a decline during this time frame. Now we downgraded it today based on the magnitude of decline in here. So we're looking for a, uh, to move down to supports. This support right over here is around 54.3. The top of this support, which is a 38.2% Fib extension, is at uh, right around 53.5. The middle area right over here is at about 48.5. So that's what we're looking for is a decline down to 53.5 to 48.5 sometime into the projected December lows. Now, where do I get that projected December low? Well, I get that off of what we're looking at right over here. And each of these nesting periods shows you the time range for those lows, which is very clear. 
again, I want to reiterate that our analysis is made up of cycle analysis. And we add to that momentum conditions based on either using the reversal scout or the slim ribbon, which I'll show you. Uh, and we also look at important support, resistances, and projections that you see up here. So it came up here, got very close to the 127%, rejected right there, as you could see, with that reversal bar, and is now in this corrective period, looking like 53.5 down to 48.5. When I look at it here on the daily chart, you could see that, well, this is that big cycle right over here that comes off of the weekly chart, which I superimposed over this. This is that nesting area right over there that I showed you where the lows are likely to come. And there are two cycles that we're looking at in here uh, that are out of phase. In other words, this blue dashed right over here could give you a little earlier low. This is early in December. This one over here is more like mid-December. So we're looking for a potential rebound, which you see it's trying to do today, to get into these sell zones. So it's a short-term uh, sell zone that we believe that if it gets up into here, which is over the area of about, uh, this is starts at around 60,700. 60, it gets up here to about 63,800. So right in here, when you get over 60,700, we consider that to be a sell zone, the probability of rejecting and coming back down for active aggressive traders is very high. So that's where the area that where the resistance are that we think it would then begin be moving down to the downside again in some significance. Looking at this in the side by side, you can see in here that here's the condition for that correction and the period of risk right there. Here's how it extrapolates over onto the daily chart. The probability is that if it gets into that, if it rebounds up, it would happen at a time frame where there's likely to be another decline and that decline getting down into these supports between 53.5 and 48.5 that you could see right over there. I want to uh, blow up this daily chart again for one more second and show you the slim ribbon. So this is the slim ribbon momentum condition. See that green arrow right there? And as it begins to expand, it tells you the momentum conditions are getting stronger. When it begins to narrow, it shows you the momentum conditions are weakening. <clears throat> the slim ribbon PO is the signal indicator right here. And you can see when it turns green, it's the reflective of the slim ribbon. Here you've got that positive signal right over here, which was beautiful and began to move up. So you had all of this positive condition through October and into November. And right now it has neutralized as you see that turns blue and the slim ribbon crosses over on itself. This is very important. We expect that this is going to go red and you'll see this turn red over here and uh, that will give you this pretty good period of risk. When it does turn red, you'll have a reason to be even more confident to sell the bounce and look for more on the downside. So overall, what this shows us is that it's fairly likely that this period of risk is here for the Bitcoin market, that it lasts sometime into December, but then again, we'll get into a favorable period where we have to see if it can test that 69,000 again and get above that level. So this period of risk only goes into December, and then we get into a more favorable period again for the Bitcoin market, uh, where we believe uh, it will test those highs and give us some indication whether it has any power left at all. Uh, my bigger picture analysis in there, which I'm not going to share right now, I'll just simply say, we believe 2022 will be a major shakeout year for all of the cryptocurrencies with some very severe declines in there. There's a lot of you people out there that are married to your Bitcoin position or cryptocurrency positions that are going to completely disagree with me on that. Well, you heard my warning. That's my update on Bitcoin.